वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड यू आर वॉचिंग दर आज इन्फोटेक इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दिस डायग्राम एंड द फोर्स एक्ट एट ए ड्यू टू बी इन दिस लेक्चर विल सी द फोर्स एट ए ड्यू टू सी सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू द इक्वेशन we must know the value of ac like here ab is a 4 cm and here bc is 3 cm if we have value of two side then we can easily find the value of another side uh we are having the basic fundamental formulas like here ac square is equals to what yes ab square plus bc square okay so here uh this ac square we take as it is now ab means what 4 square plus bc means what 3 square now so the square of 4 is what 16 the square of 3 is what 9 okay this is what ac square so uh 16 plus 9 that is 25 okay that is 25 so definitely we are writing here so actually this whole value inside of under root symbol so here this is again comes into under root so finally we know the value of ac is what ac square that is what under root 25 okay so we can say here the value of ac which is what square and square root get cancel then we are having the value as what yes 5 okay it's very simple so here this is what 5 cm now here uh take these value we know uh, the first part of this equation is what coulomb's constant that is 4 pi epsilon not into what 4 or uh, 2 micro coulomb that is 2 into what uh, 2 into 10 to the minus 6 into what yes that is 4 into 10 to the minus 6 upon upon this is distance between them that is 5 into what 10 to the minus 2 Whole square. Okay, 10 to the minus 2 whole square. Now solve it. Yeah, this is Coulomb constant. That is that that as it is 4 pi epsilon not into the rest of the part. That is 2 into 4. Uh, it 8 into what? 10 to 6 into 10 to minus 6. Both times minus 6. Now here this is what square of 5. That is 25 into Minus two into this two, it becomes two into two four minus four. Okay. Now put the value of Coulomb's constant. That is nine into ten to two nine in this given equation. So instead of one upon four pi epsilon, we put the value of this Coulomb constant. That is nine into ten to two nine into what eight into ten to two minus six into ten to two minus six. Okay. Upon what? Upon twenty five into ten to two minus Four. Okay, so here uh, continue this calculation. So this eight nine multiplied with this eight, it becomes seventy two. Nine eights are seventy two. Okay, this is seventy two. Then divided by what? Twenty five into this ten plus uh, this ten plus two nine. And when we move this ten plus two minus four. From denominator to denominator, it becomes 10 to the plus 4. So 10 to the 9, 10 to the 4, add it. That is what 10 to the 13. Okay. Into what? Into here. These 10 to the minus 6 and 10 to the minus 6. Here the base is same. So we add the power of them. That is what 10 to the minus 12. Okay. Then this minus 12 cancel with plus 12. And we are having here. The value of 
last is what 10 raised to 1 okay just multiply this 10 with this 72 it means what 720 divided by 25 okay here this 72 multiplied with this 10 that is what 750 divided by, divided by 25 now just divide it 25 to za 50 now we are having the remainder is what yes 72 minus 50 that is what 22 and this 0 it becomes 220 okay 220 then 25 8 za 200 now the remainder is what 20 put the point here and it becomes 200 again 20 25 8 za 200 so this is our final answer that is what 28.8 so continue with this equation that is what vector f a due to c is equals to what yes is equals to 28.8 newton okay this is our required value so we can say here force vector f a due to c along ac is what 28.8 newton okay it's very simple in our previous equation we have seen here the force at a due to b in this this numerical gives us the force at a due to c okay so it's very easy friend if you are unable to understand then please pause the video try to solve at your own level still if you have any query regard this lecture then please comment me on comment section i will try to resolve your query thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe my youtube channel daraz infotech and press bell icon it will help you to be notified upcoming videos till bye bye